this. Do not pull this out of my hand, little girl. Come on, come on, Beulah, baby. Come on, baby. Keep an eye on Beulah today. She's been laying down, kind of rolling around. But this is not normal for her to do that in the morning. I'll keep an eye on her. Yeah. Come on, what are you doing? Are you okay? Let's get up, come on. Beulah is one of the feistiest donkeys that we have, so it's really weird to see her skipping a meal. Come on. Come on, let's get up. She's not eating. Come on, I want you outside. And I want to see if she just walks for a little bit and then lay, tries to lay down again. You OK? She's not good. Yeah, like she's laying down right now. That's, that's not a good sign. That makes me very concerned. Hey, Christine, Beulah has been rolling around on the ground and she keeps laying down and she's done it like six times and I'm seriously concerned. She might be colicking. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay, sounds good. In babies, colic means that they just cry a lot. In donkeys, it means they have excruciating abdominal pain and it can happen at any age. It could be gas, it can be an obstruction, it could be an intestinal twist, which could be fatal. So when an animal colics, it's an emergency situation. Come on, girl. Come on. I need you up. What happened? I think Beulah's colicking. Oh, yeah, that's not good. You got to keep them moving. Once they lay down, then that can kill them. Yeah. Is Christine here? She's sensitive. Yep. And this is where the stomach is, and it's kind of so it's colic. bloated out. Yeah. OK. That sucks. Is there like a clock on when she, the vet needs to be here by? They're all on calls, so it's whoever's closer. She is an older donkey. She's about 26 years old. So older animals have a tougher time when they colic. We've had some bad luck with our donkeys. And I don't want to lose another one because it's hard on them and they mourn the loss of another one. And I can't talk about it without thinking about crying. <laughs> the donkeys were one of our first residents here at the sanctuary. They all came from the same location in North Michigan, and the owners asked us to keep the family together and to take them in. We had two donkeys pass away. Sylvia was Virginia's daughter and passed away from heart failure. And then just three days later, Virginia passed away from colic. And so it, it was a really weird situation because we really think she died from um, heartbreak and, and loss. Actually, when Virginia passed away and all the donkeys lined up in a single line. It was like a funeral. Like they literally just walked straight to their dead mother. It was crazy. Honestly, we're scared. We're scared that we're gonna lose another donkey. What you got going on today? So she was rolling around this morning. Normally, she's the first one over to the hay in the morning, and she did not go over and eat. See where her heart rate's at. The on-call vet is Dr. Andy Smith, and thankfully, he got here really fast. Hi. <laughs> OK, heart rate's maybe a little bit elevated. I do hear gut sounds. Maybe sounds a little gassy. OK. I don't know if she had maybe a gas bubble or right. maybe um, mild obstruction. That, that might be causing her some pain. Okay. We'll give her some water and a little okay. oil okay. through the stomach tube. It's a good thing that her intestines aren't twisted, but the blockage is causing a lot of pain, and we have to treat it right now. We're going to just slide the tube up his nose, and he's going to swallow it. It's going to go directly into his stomach. You want the oil that I give her to really soak in everything and just flush it out, kind of okay. like a clogged okay. pipe. Mineral oil? Uh, it's mineral oil. OK. Yep. It's like a laxative for a donkey. OK. <laughs> Okay. You're all right. right. You're all right. Beulah is scared. She doesn't understand why a foreign object is going up her nostril. She doesn't understand why she's bleeding. All right, buddy. We're all done. All done, girl. I'm sorry. No food for at least 12 hours. 
You think she'll be okay to walk over to the other building? Take her slow. Yeah, okay. Yep, she'll be all right. Since she cannot have access to any food, we took her over to the new quarantine building because there's no hay or straw over there. Is the perfect place to put her. You can make it. There you go. This will be a lot nicer in here. She found her spot and she's comfy. Check on her every three to four hours just to um, you know, make sure she doesn't recolic. Great. You're a yeah. donkey watch tonight. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can do it. I checked in on Beulah a couple of times during the night, and this morning it looks like the laxative worked. She seems a little more alert. But the rest of the donkeys in the main barn are freaking out. The other donkeys were just very upset that Beulah is up here. And okay. um, uh, they were pacing back and forth, and uh, the mom is just sitting down there just staring up the path that you guys went. Okay. And so she's just yeah. very, very concerned. All right, well, we'll bring her up here. The thing I was not anticipating at all was the reactions from her mother, Blossom. <laughs> because Beulah was feeling ill, uh, you could see it in Blossom's eyes. You could see her body language that she was truly worried. Gotta see your baby. She's Look trotting. Trot. There's my daughter. Donkeys care about their siblings and their family members just like we do. Blossom was very worried about Beulah. She can sense her, I think. Yeah. She's coming in hot. Yeah, it's OK. You're going to see your daughter in three, two, one. See, she's OK. See, Mama, she's OK. See? Oh. These moments reassured me that all the animals we have here feel love and compassion. Oh. They're definitely happier. Yes. They do not like to be apart. The next 24 hours, we're going to be checking just to make sure her temp stays in the normal range. We're going to be checking just to make sure that she's still um, passing manure, um, that she doesn't have a bunch of gas built up, and that she's not in any discomfort. I'll check in on them tonight. OK. Are you guys happy to be with each other? Huh? <laughs> Donkey massage.